Good morning. Today is our second day of exploring Cappadocia and we have been staying in the town of Bereme and yesterday we took a taxi a little bit outside of town to explore a really awesome open air museum with some fairy chimneys and some really cool cave dwellings. And today we are actually starting in the town of Bereme and we are going to take a hike down to a neighboring town to see some really cool views. The town that we're hiking to today is called Uchisar, and I think there are a couple ways that you can get there through hiking from Goreme, but we are choosing to take the hike through Pigeon Valley. I think Pigeon Valley is the nickname. I've also seen it called under another name that I'm not remembering right now, but I'll put it on the screen. As far as I've seen, it looks to be absolutely gorgeous, and I think there are gonna be even more cave dwellings, kind of like what we saw yesterday, and I'm super excited to get started on this hike. I think this is about an hour to an hour and a half long hike to the town and I really don't know how intense of a hike it's going to be. I did see something mentioning it goes uphill for a little while but I don't really think it's going to be that intense of a hike but we'll see. <laughs> really makes me curious how much this has changed because right now I have no idea how you would get up there. I wonder if there used to be some kind of like a ladder or staircase or something to get there. It would help deter intruders. Not a bad view at all. Nice little detour. <laughs> Doing okay? <laughs> We're both very coordinated people, as you can tell. Okay, there's a bathroom here, halfway down the trail. I'd be surprised if it has soap. No idea if it has water, but at least it has a door. I do not have any kind of clue what we just walked into. I think there's a sign back there that said there's a cafe and I think it said 50 meters. But if this is that, it's been not open for quite a while, it seems like. Is there anything oh. in there? No, it's just a more recently abandoned building than we're used to finding. Yeah, seriously. I thought that was super cool. We always like finding abandoned buildings and that one was Definitely probably the most recently abandoned that we've seen because there's still some furniture in it and some unbroken glass, which is crazy. But yeah, that's kind of cool. This feels like a different planet. This is crazy. So yesterday in our taxi ride over to the open air museum, our driver was telling us that all of these valleys used to be underwater at some point. He was pointing out to us that some of the, a lot of the rock formations have a very distinct line that it looks like there were rocks placed on top of them because they're wider and smoother and it just doesn't look natural. He said that he thinks that's where the water line used to be. And I think that's really cool 
if that's the case, to see, <laughs> to see so clearly where the water would have been so long ago. Because yeah, I mean, everywhere, everywhere around us right now, you can kind of see those lines, see that line that separates it. This really hasn't been a bad hike at all. This is the most intense part that we're on right now. And really just the hard part is that it's a little slippery. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks like sand dunes, and then it's a sharp drop off. Yep. <laughs> like I said earlier, this this valley that we're hiking through is known as Pigeon Valley, and so there should be a bunch of pigeon holes everywhere that were carved out of the rocks to. I think it's to domesticate the pigeons to use for meat and for fertilizer is what I've seen. Mm. But I feel like I haven't seen as many as I thought. And maybe they're just like, they look different than I thought or they're bigger than I thought. Cause like those wouldn't be pigeon holes, right? Like those holes in that. Maybe. Because. Well, I've seen quite a few smaller ones. Really? Yeah. Huh. There were definitely some down there. Interesting. Maybe I just don't know what I'm looking for then. <laughs> I think, all, I think all, looking for all those like door looking things. Those were pigeon holes, I oh, think. Oh, that makes sense. So like the six, like the two by three set of holes. That makes sense. Okay. So based on this map, so it says we are here, Grandma is there, and Uchiso is over here. So it looks like we're about halfway done. But we can see the town, see a town. I think, I guess we have to kind of like loop around it, but it looks pretty close from here. We saw there's a staircase going up to the ridge, so we're gonna get some pretty cool views, I think. It's, I think we're just gonna get a walk around. Doesn't seem like there's any railings or anything, which is our favorite type. Your favorite type. <laughs> <laughs> I like safety. <laughs> great at this navigating thing. I think somewhere just a few minutes ago, we took a wrong turn somehow because we, by looking at the map, it looks like the valley is supposed to like curve around the city. So we're kind of just supposed to go around like the perimeter of it for a little while. And what? Could that be where we need to go? Maybe. So we went up, there's a road that goes this way that it took us right into town like not where we're supposed to curve around, just right straight into town. But I think we're supposed to go, I don't know if this is a trail, but like this, we're supposed to go this direction to curve around and see more of the valley. So we're gonna backtrack. I guess we could just go try that real quick. I don't know how we do this so often. I really suck at navigating. Well, yeah, I have no idea where we're supposed to be going. Maybe we, yeah, I'm so confused because I think like, we can see a valley. We can see the valley, I think, right down here. So I assume we're supposed to be down like in the middle of that. I don't know how to get there and I don't know where else we would have turned to get there. This dog's keeping an eye on us. I know, there's a mama dog mama. down here with puppies that we have to pass. <laughs> no, no. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Maybe we won't pass the mama dog. Yeah. She did not like us. That was the most oh my gosh. That was the most aggressive stray we've seen so far. Well, I don't know if she would have bit us. I don't want to find out. I don't know how to get down. But there's another trail this way. Let's go this way. <laughs> you can hear the flag blowing at the top of the castle. That's funny. You can hear it whipping in the wind. So here's another, here's a trail. I, I honestly like, 
we probably won't because it's gonna take a lot of time. But I just wanna walk back down this and see where the heck we missed our turn <laughs> because I'm so confused. But I think we got on the right path. I think we're where we're supposed to be now. This whole rock formation right here, it looks like a hotel almost, or like an entire whole village could fit in there. It totally does, yeah. There's so many windows and rooms and yeah, that's so cool. It's just being dumb. We've really seen a lot of pigeonholes. I just didn't know what I was looking for, but they're everywhere. Now that now that I said that I haven't seen them out loud, they're everywhere. They probably were the whole time. <laughs> yeah, this, okay, this is one of the coolest ones we've seen so far. Oh my gosh. It's everywhere. This That's crazy. Is, wow. What's interesting about these is there's bricks built on top of the mountains. Yeah. It's not just carved inside the mountain, but it's built on top of it. <laughs> okay. Now that I've walked through this whole thing, I'm gonna start talking. Sabrina kind of freaked me out. She says she thought she heard somebody walking around in here and it's pretty dark. So I didn't want to get snuck up on by somebody. See, it's a little freaky, but this place is crazy. This, there's like, there's pillars everywhere. There's all of these, I don't know, maybe um, storage compartments. This is so crazy. There's two floors. There's actually, here, there's actually, um, like a hole that goes down to the bottom floor. But yeah, I don't know how originally you got in, but <laughs> I kind of had to climb up um, using the, what I thought were storage compartments. So I don't know if I'll be able to film myself going back down, but this is insane. So cool. <laughs> Now that Marshall scoped it out, I'm gonna, I'm gonna join. Oh, oh wow. Isn't it huge? It's so big. That's so cool. I wonder like, I mean, we haven't really seen pigeons in any of the holes, at least I haven't today. But like, the holes are everywhere. Whoa. Oh. I was wondering if maybe these are, were like storage compartments. Well, I assume they're for, more pigeons. You think they're all pigeons? I mean, I don't know. Maybe. That was my thought, but maybe not. So, I mean, this was kind of hidden off. Like you couldn't even, from the main trail in the valley, you couldn't really even tell that there was a trail to get up here. So there's definitely no kind of like plaque or anything to give any information. But I wonder if we could find like pictures of this being in use some way or form i think that'd be so cool to see because like i can kind of picture it but like i don't know this is so cool so fascinating oh. and to think we were gonna miss this yeah i'm glad we backtracked oh look there's, there's pigeons i saw them they flew out <laughs> <laughs> that was the first time we've seen pigeons in the pigeon holes <laughs> So many pigeons, they're not even using their homes. So ungrateful. <gasps> oh, I almost missed it. <laughs> that was funny. Here, I was just hanging out on the trail. I was a little skeptical to turn back since I was already getting, getting kind of hungry, but that was definitely worth it. There's so much more to see. And I bet there's even more that we could see. Oh, I'm sure there has to be. I, I think, <laughs> I think we missed some cool parts by taking a wrong turn. I think we missed a little chunk of it and that's kind of sad, but I mean, we still saw so much incredible stuff. Yeah, very, very happy with it. 
sit now down. we are finally going to try and get some lunch. Finally. It seems like there's a bunch of options around here. We're right on the edge of town though, so we may have a little bit of a walk back to where we were an hour ago. Yes. We actually decided to just get some food at the restaurant that's at the top of the trailhead. And everything's been so good. It's actually really cheap, and, or pretty cheap, probably could have found something a little bit cheaper. But it's very reasonably priced and we're excited to be able to just run straight to the castle right after we're done here. <laughs> so I said this in our video yesterday but in the time that we've been here, which now has been like I still five or six mornings, something like that, the balloons have only flown once. And we're really, really hoping we can get up in the balloons before we leave, but we're supposed to check out tomorrow. And we're reserved for tomorrow. So far, they're not canceled, but it's been really windy today. So I'm getting a little nervous, but <laughs> we may have to add another night in this town in order to try to make that happen. The luck hasn't been on our side so far, but still have a, at least one more chance. Wind's blowing all the sand in our eyes, or in my eyes at least. Uh, this is crazy. <laughs> Sorry, this isn't an actual castle, is it? That's just what they call it? I think it used to be. I don't, I guess I don't know. I was hoping they had some plaques because I haven't really done much research on it. So let's find the front so we can get inside and learn. <laughs> I've said a couple times to Marshall that being in this region kind of just feels like you're walking around the set of the Flintstones. I feel like this castle really captures that feeling. It looks like it's a, like a movie set. Yeah. It doesn't look like it was actually ever used. No, it's crazy that this is like real. Actually, yeah, yeah. not I almost said man-made. It, it, it kind of it looks like um, like in Disney World, like one of the big mountains that they have created. Oh, it totally does. It's so crazy. Yeah, it's, 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 not, it's not a prop. This is, this is a real thing. Whoa. There's all these holes in the ground and cubbies like this and just all these differently shaped rooms. It just really, really makes me curious what all these were used for. It's, it's so cool to imagine. There's so many random holes and tunnels everywhere. I wonder how many of them have been created since then? Like how many of them was just this place deteriorating? But a lot of them, I think, were used as um, ventilation shafts to get fresh air into here. So I think that's what those holes are like, in the middle of the floor. Oh, you think, really? yeah, I guess that makes sense. because we did have to pay a small entrance fee. What was it? It was like $4, $5 per person, yeah. so it wasn't too bad. Um, but yeah, so now we are inside the castle and on our way to the top. I think it said it was like 275 steps, is that right? 275 steps to get to the top. The first plaque that we saw, it did say that this was used as like a fortress to protect the town. I think it said it was used and inhabited people until the 15th century. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> wow. It's a nice one, really. Some storage shelves. TV. 
with a plug for the TV. Nice place for the bed. I'll take this room. I'm starting to think it's impossible for us to go to anything related to a fortress without Marshall figuring out where he's gonna live. And I think you've done that in everyone. <laughs> Cool, being able to look over the whole valley that we got here from. <laughs> it's cool, but I think we're gonna take a taxi back. Yes, definitely. But I think it'll be so cool to get to the top and just have 360 views of the whole region. I know it'll be cool. I don't think it'll be cool. <laughs> Apparently, this is actually the tallest point, or at the top of this is the tallest point in Cappadocia. The more you know. is so loud. That, we could hear that from the bottom of the castle when we were still on the trail. Yeah, I, I, I literally, I literally thought it was um, drummers up here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's so scary being up here. <laughs> this doesn't look real. This feels fake. <laughs> my brain does not know how to comprehend this view. Yeah, this is pretty insane. I shouldn't get my hopes up too much, which I think I've already failed at, but nice. Clearly Marshall's just as excited as me. <laughs> but we just got the information for the hot air balloon ride tomorrow, which it was already canceled by this point yesterday. This is farther than we've gotten so far. So we might be going in a hot air balloon tomorrow. <laughs> That's such genuine excitement, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, you can't even really see this rock formation at the top. No, you can't. Coming up to the castle was definitely worth it, and I'm I'm so glad we got to see all of this. Sorry. <laughs> I think that's a good place to end it. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's it for, <laughs> for our second day here in Cappadocia. We hopefully, hopefully we'll have a hot air balloon video out from for tomorrow. Yeah, hopefully it doesn't get canceled. So we'll see. <laughs>